get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, y'all. Follow me on all the social media platforms. I got the links in the description below. And smash the notification bell, y'all. It's right next to this, uh, what is that? Subscribe, the subscribe button, man. Hit that joint so that way you can stay up to date, man. But anyways, man, I am on my way out to, unfortunately, the Saturn View customer. Um, yeah, I sold the car yesterday and now we got issues right away. So I got the phone call with the blame man and blah, blah, blah. The boyfriend took the Saturn View and now the car won't start. So I had him call me, asked him what it's doing. Sounds like it's not getting any power at all. So I said, sounds like you left something on last night and you need a jump. So I'm headed that way right now, y'all. Um, I'm doing that one because we don't want any bad, that's my GPS right there, but we don't want any bad um, views. And then also it's not gonna be too far on my way. So I'm gonna go out there and see if he needs a jump, which I'm pretty sure he does. Because as y'all know, we put a battery in that joint and that thing's been fired right up. Um, but he does have somebody that is attempting to jump it right now. But I'm going through that way anyway, so I'm going to head that way. If he gets a jump, then I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and bypass that and get on with my day. But um, yeah, man, we starting the day off pretty early. I got a uh, text at eight or a messenger at eight o'clock this morning saying that that happened. So um, yeah, and then she just going off the gun. It's a young girl. Um, I told her, hey, don't jump the gun. Just chill out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep y'all updated. Uh, let's get on this road. Let's get to this money. Let's make some blue faces. I'm up. 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 We up. We up. I'm up dealing with people y'all so i get here he texts me as soon as i pull up oh hey we got it jumped we're good so now let's get on with the day man we got still got to change that tire just got to change that tire on that volkswagen and then uh i gotta get the dang uh tools because i don't have i left my stuff at the house i'm tripping man so i gotta go get the jump uh the jack i gotta get the uh the dang uh sockets and everything so we get the tire off and then we go from there so let's get on the road man let's get to it all right y'all so i got the jack now and i got the uh impact gun so now i'm on my way out to the lot man but bad news is that i messed up the van in the back man so if you guys been watching the vlogs you remember the um you remember the uh adhesive for the van that I just sold to fix the liner. Well, the jack, I put the jack on the, um, I threw it in the back and then boom, the can exploded, man. So it's all in the back of the van. I, I had got it all on my hands and everything. I got it all cleaned up now, kind of, sort of, but man, it's on my jacket. Show you that, man, it's on my jacket. I'm mad, but it is what it is, man. But this was a perfectly clean interior, man. Now it's all jacked up. I'm gonna show y'all when I get to the lot, but it's just, man, I can't catch a break, can I? What y'all think, man? I got bad luck or what? I don't know. You comment below and you let me know. Or is it just part of the game? Does this happen to you a lot too? Does stuff mess up on you? Let me know, man. But I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Let's get on this roll, let's get it. Okay, y'all, we are at the lot now, man. So, grab my jump back, cause I'm gonna have to move this. Volkswagen up and it was dead yesterday. And it was dead, y'all, because I forgot to lock the door. I've been paying attention to the laws, you know what I'm talking about. But I gotta show y'all this, man. I'm a little depressed. I ain't gonna lie to y'all about this. It's a rough start this morning. So look at this, man. Look at all that adhesive on there, man. Looks like my son had left a banana back there. And it's all on the window. I'm just mad. Get this banana pill out of here. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. At least it's not, like, horrible, horrible. But let me, basically, I'm about to change this tire real quick. Let me show you all this tire, man. Look at this craziness, man. Big flat. So, I'm about to change this tire real quick. And then we're going to go tire zoo. Get this thing fixed, hopefully. 
Hopefully you don't have to buy a new tire and then we'll be straight. Let's get it. Okay, so that's done y'all. Took the tire off now. On my way to the tire shop so we can get this thing figured out. And then hopefully they're still not on that COVID stuff because last time they said you can't drop nothing, you gotta sit with it and all that. So let's see what happens. Then we can go from there. I don't see why they would give me a problem, but sometimes people do. See you in a second. Okay y'all, so I just got done with that, so we're good. I dropped that off. Now I'm about to hop on this highway and uh, get to Odessa while they're fixing this tire. Got a phone call coming in, gotta take it. See y'all in a second, man. So guess who just called me again? The Saturn View customer. Now all of a sudden the transmission's slipping, right? So I said, now keep in mind, we're talking about some, this is the boyfriend, y'all. This dude opened up the fuse box when trying to look under the hood and didn't know what he was looking for. The girl said they didn't, that he didn't know what he was looking for and all that. So now all of a sudden, the transmission is slipping. He left the lights on earlier this morning and he had to jump off the car and now the transmission is slipping. So what's going to happen? I'm about to drive this car and I'm going to find out that this transmission is not slipping because it wasn't slipping before. And all of a sudden, it's magically slipping now. And I, I asked him, I said, what? And I know y'all can see that I'm very mad right now just from dealing with certain people. But I asked him, I said, how do you know that it's slipping? Oh, well, I had a car that did this kind of before. And so like when I'm around 30, I just feel like it just shifts too quickly. So to be continued, man, let me get this running done. I'm keep y'all updated on the way. Um, but of course we gotta have some drama in the day. Why, man, why me? 19 year olds, man, I'm telling you. At this point, y'all, I have heard it all, man, and nothing will ever surprise me again, man. So they pull up, y'all, and I'm going to show y'all the Volkswagen in a second. I did get that done, but uh, they pull up, man, the car, I can smell the weed like from, look, I'll show y'all, from here, no, about halfway all the way to where you see that black car right there, the end of the sidewalk, basically. So I smell the weed, and I'm like, okay, they're smoking weed. Get in there, smoking weed. So I drive the car, what is it doing? Oh, around uh, 30, 35 miles per hour, it shifts and it, and, it and, it, uh, and it slips. I'm like, what? So I drive the car, I drive the car up and down, up and down. She tells me, you're a professional, won't you drive it regular? I am driving it regular, okay? I'm trying to see if your transmission is uh, sh shifting correctly or is it slipping. Driving the car, I drive it slower, I drive it faster, stop on the brake, you know, do all that good stuff, go through the gears, and everything is perfectly fine. I'm like, the car is good. Now, I told them when you when they bought the car, I said, get you an oil change. That's the only thing that I didn't do to that car. So they were confused about the oil change. Well, the oil change said it was a, 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 at 169, it's at 170 now. It's at 170 now. Yeah, you were at the end of 169. Your odometer changed over to 170. You were 100 miles over the old oil change. That's why I told you to get the oil change. You know what I'm saying? Like. What, what are you talking about? Drive the car. I'm like, everything's good with this car. No, man, when you drive it, man, sometimes the RPMs go down. Well, no shit. When you're driving, it's supposed to go down if you're at a steady, at a steady um, speed. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I'm just like, whatever, man. But anyways, man, so I, like I said, when I didn't heard it all, I didn't seen it all at this point. And this stuff is crazy. But it is what it is, y'all. Let's just keep it moving and grooving. Let's stay positive. Let's get to the money. Let's get some blue faces and... Hopefully, man, this day gets better, man, because I'm having a bad one. All right, y'all. So, 4 o'clock. Did a no call, no show. Just how it is, man. But I wanted to show y'all the finished product of the car, man. So, yeah, here's the tire, man. Put it on. 25 bucks. They plugged me. They plugged the tire. And uh, that's that, man. So... I'm good, man. So, just finna go 
and figure out what's next, y'all. So, honestly, I don't know what's going on because ain't nothing shaking. So, I'm just, again, doing paperwork, bored out of my mind. I got people hitting me up, though, man. So, hopefully somebody buys or well, says they're going to come out, and then uh, we can kind of go from there. So, I will check back with you guys in a second, and we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. I completely forgot about the Honda, so it's finally ready. I don't think I even showed this to y'all yesterday. So here's the final result, y'all. Interior looking nice. Show you down here. It's looking cool, man. Looking real nice. So I'm getting ready to post this joint, and then hopefully we can sell this pretty quick. That would be cool, man. So most of the fleet is pretty much done, man. I think I got like two more cars left and then uh, we are caught up. Unfortunately, we're not selling that many, but eventually it will pick up. But this is a nice car. I think this car is gonna sell, like I said, pretty dang quick. I'll show y'all what it looks like. So that's a, that's a nice car for sure. Nice looking car. So anyways, man, let's get back to the office let's get this thing posted and uh see if somebody hits for something or at least hopefully that what if that dude ends up coming that'll be dope we can get rid of that volkswagen if not it is what it is all right y'all so the day is over and we got nothing accomplished but some empty dreams it's fine though i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow on the next one man and i appreciate each and every single last one of y'all like i keep on saying and we're gonna make some money tomorrow we got to but i'm out peace